Hello YouTube viewers, Computer Programmer here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a metal halftone background as you see right here. For this tutorial you're going to need Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop as well as the plugin Phantasm CS Publisher for Adobe Illustrator. So first off, open up Adobe Illustrator, File, New. I'm going to make mine 500 by 500 pixels and uh, the resolution to 72. Hit OK. Now put a text box as the background. Fill it with the color that you want the dots to be. I'm going to choose black. Now make sure that the box is selected. And if it's not selected, click the selection tool and click the box. And then you'll know if it's selected if you see the squares at the edges and in the middle. After you have that, you go to Effects, Phantasm, CS Publisher, and then click Half Tone. After that loads up, in the Type drop down menu, hit Sampled. And in the DPI, type in 4 and then click away. Don't hit enter or this dialog will close. And then in the pattern um, drop down menu, click alternating. And then in the tint adjust, click none. And scale width sets to 30%. And click away. Then click OK. And go to File, Export. And I'm just going to export it to the desktop, but I already have it on my desktop. But when you export it, make sure you click. Photoshop and then name it or the Photoshop format and then name it whatever you want. After you've done that, you can just close it. And if you want to save it as an Adobe Illustrator format, you can if you want. Now open it up in Photoshop. I already have it opened. And right off the bat, you're going to see that there's lines going through the edges and it's not the same size as the canvas was in Adobe Illustrator. I do not know why it does that. So to fix this, get the cropping tool, highlight the whole canvas, go to Window, click Navigator, and zoom in by holding Shift Alt and using the mouse wheel up. Click Info on the Navigator box. Scroll up to the top by holding the space bar and dragging the canvas down. Put your cursor up to top of it and just drag it down. I'm going to put this one at 507 and go to the bottom and drag the rest to 500. And I'm going to do the same thing to the edges. After that's done, click the checkbox and I'm going to zoom out. Get rid of that, and now it's the same size as you can tell, 500. Now create a new layer by holding Shift Alt or Control Shift N. Oops. Control Shift N and hit Enter. Drag it down to the bottom. Fill the background with black. And um, and how I did that was I pressed Shift Alt Backspace and it filled it with the color that was right here. If that color is not black, just press D on your keyboard, then it'll go back to the default. Now after you've done that, open up the layer style by double clicking the layer, not over the text, but um, somewhere, somewhere um, that's not the text. I already have the style made, so I'm just going to add it and show you what it looks like. I've got the blend mode set to normal, opacity set to 100%, and I've got three spots for the gradients. The first spot is pretty dark gray. In the middle, I've got a light, sort of middle-ish, lowish gray. And for the last one, I've got a darker gray. Um, and take note, it's darker than the middle gray. And apply that. OK. And just drop down the group folder. Unable this or uncheck the path layer. Double click the group layer to open up the layer style. Once again, I have the style already made. I'm just going to add it and show you what it looks like. I've got a drop shadow. The blend mode is set to normal. Opacity is set to 38. Distance is set to 1, spread is set to 0, and same with size, and make sure you have anti aliased checked. Click OK, and there you have it. Now you've got perfectly awesome metal halftone backgrounds that you've just created. If you have any other questions, comments, or requests, just uh, message me um, by private messaging me or on my channel or on this video, and um, I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.